What's good, y'all? Shaman Viz. Um, I'm gonna show y'all a little technique for all the Cubase users. Um, I use Cubase 5. Um, it's a little technique if you're just learning how to engineer or if you want to, you know, elevate your game and whatnot. It's a little technique I actually learned I'm off of YouTube, actually. And, you know, I thought I'd make my own video because it's a little thing I do different than others. Just use a combination of that and blend it with my own technique. And, um, it's a little bit mastering on your vocals. To try to get it somewhere near as the professionals do it. My ear is pretty good. It's not where the professionals do it, but it's definitely better than a lot of mixtapes that just sound real muffled and stuff like that. So I'm going to go ahead and play you the song that I did a while back. And uh, it's just strictly rough. And I'm going to go step by step how I did it to make it sound, you know, pretty clear. So check this out. <laughs> As you're hearing, you barely can hear my vocals. Um, I'm correct, I didn't hear this yet, but when I do hear it, you should be able to hear my vocals over the music. And what I do is I EQ the beat. So the beat's definitely going to overpower my words. So I'll stop that real quick. Um, what I'm going to do is, is go you know, to your little E thing right here. Have a basic, you know, basic EQ on it. You know, I set it to point three. Um, I like that, like that, cause uh, I think it gives you the best sound quality as far as you know your basic steps, as far as how you sound, how you want it to sound to your own liking. And I think that fits my my technique very well. Um, I did take everything off besides my delay, cause I manually do all that, and I don't feel like doing that shit over. So, what you want to do first is. Go to your uh, first icon. You gotta add these in order as well. This bitch right here is denoiser. It's a pain in the ass. If you have an old computer like I do, it's gonna make your computer run slow. Stuff like that when you're trying to listen to it. So sometimes you wanna take that off if you wanna listen to your song straight through. If you have an old computer like I do, and the old process and all that good stuff or whatnot. Excuse me, but I'm holding this camera up. By hand, so this bitch hurt. But yeah, you want to put that on first. This works to complements the gate. Um, I don't normally use a gate. I use an effect that complements with the gate very well. And this denoiser works well with it. Sometimes you want to take that off if you have multiple tracks and you're mastering. Because um, it'll mess your shit all up. and make your computer run real slow. Especially if you got an old computer like me. Um, you want to go to this next. Um, it's optional if you choose to do it. I use the VC, um, excuse me, the VST dynamic. You know, I put that on, and um, I like to use the attack roads. It's um, it kind of enhances your vocals a little bit, and as well, I use it as a gate. Um, if you a loud rapper, that works very well with you. You want to use that, but if you like a low type of Drake type of rapper, you probably don't want to use it because with the gate, sometimes they'll clip your words. And you don't want that to be like getting like you know what I mean like that. I want to be you know what I mean you'll be hearing that clip that clip with it as well. So if you allow rapper and sometimes I switch it up. Sometimes you want to use attack roads. It's pretty good to use as a gate. As you see down here, the gate. You can take it off if you still want to use it because it's pretty good without it. But if you want to use it as a gate because you only got eight slots to use over here to the left. So you want to use it as a gate is very good. Um. It enhance your vocals a little bit. I'll play it right now. You probably really won't tell the difference just yet. But you'll hear a better improvement if you got a good air like me. So you can hear it a little bit more. The beat's still overpowering it, especially after I EQ'd it. So let's put that on stop. Let's go back here. You want to put a uh, EQ on it. I call this the super EQ. You know, me, I have a preset. I preset it already to a preset that I think would make it sound very well. So, I go to the preset that I have. You know, I got it under my name, so I know where the hell to find it at. I got under that. What you want to do, though, is try to get this to 5.0. As you see, I have it at 5.1. It's very difficult to get it there right on the nose, especially if you got a mouse like me and a faulty. Um, USB hub, well my old USB hub, but now it's pretty good, it's only 
point one decimal higher anyway, so I didn't bother to change it. So you want to get it all at 10.0, 5.0. In the order I have it, you know, 5.0 right there, 10.0 right there, 5.0 right there. These three you want to have bearing to the bottom. Three on the left, four in the middle, keep them the same. And you get to hear some quality like this. So it's making it, it's enhancing a little bit. We slowly but surely getting there. The thing about that though, you hear them S's and T's very lot. It's all that slithering, you hear it a lot. So we're gonna get about we're gonna get to that soon. So you wanna go to your compressor. It's gonna bring it back down low because it's gonna compress all that. So don't you worry about that yet. So you go to your compressor. Then you go to uh, you can go to your presets or whatnot. Have it load up. Alright, you gotta load it up. Not all the way just yet, but you gotta load it up. Alright, bang, automatically go there. Leave vocals in your face. The best one to use. Makes it very moist, makes it very soft, brings out your vocals all the way. Play a little bit, probably won't be able to tell just yet. It's nice and warm. You know, the presets works very well. This is definitely a very good help. Alright, so you're there. Um, S's and T's is going to be in the way. So you go to your dynamic, put that de on. It varies different depending on some time, but if you're a person like my brother that uses a lot of S's and T's, or you always got that in your raps, you probably want to put it up high as possible, but not as so high because you want to hear some of that S in it. So the higher you go, you know, the more it take the S reduction out of it, as you see, S reduction. You want to make sure that auto threshold, and if you're a male, like majority of y'all are, put that on if you're a female, you have the female option as well. Um, yeah, put that on 8. Well, you can put it on 7 or 8, but I'll put it on 8 because um, you still hear the S, but not with all that, that sting to it, you know? So, you can do it like that. So now, you won't be able to hear all the S's with that EQ, that, that super EQ I was telling y'all about that y'all got on there. So the final step will be a limiter. Now I'll play it to you like this. So we're just getting there. The beat still sound like it's overpowering it just a little bit. So what you want to do is put a limiter on it. It's going to enhance your vocals all the way. It's going to balance everything out. Go to your limiter. You're going to go to your dynamic. Go to your limiter. You're gonna put this input to 6.0. The output gonna stay on zero. Or you can fluctuate if you want, if you wanna have it sounding different. It's all up to you. But I already got my plugins like that because I ain't gonna be sitting there doing that all goddamn day. Bang, 6.0. Boom. So now when we play it, it's gonna sound like this. See? Now y'all see that, right? Y'all see how I was skipping like that at the beginning? That's that goddamn denoise I was telling y'all about. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that off for now. Boom. Now, let's play it through now. Start from the beginning. Now you can hear it very well now. So that sound much better. Um, got your vocals sounding real crisp, real clear. Um, it's definitely for mixtape uses only because, like I said, I'm willing to learn how to professionally do it very well. This is very good for mixtapes because you, you can hear it. It doesn't sound muffled. Doesn't sound all. It doesn't sound like it's a screen over. You don't sound like Darth Vader. Um, very good, useful technique to use if you're just starting off and you want your music to sound good straight from the jump, so people can hear what you're saying, verb for verb. 
I mean, not word for word, but um, word for word, excuse me, and um, all that good stuff. Yeah, that's how you're gonna do your vocals or whatnot. As you see, I rap this song very low. You can see by the wave pattern or whatnot. But um, yeah, man, that's how, what you wanna do as far as that, as far as getting your vocals faster, man. So um, comment, let me know what y'all think. Any other engineers out there that got other techniques, please, uh, let's bust it up about it. So I'll let your boy.